This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review and exciting times, it's Android Pie. Sweet, right? Sorry, I couldn't resist. Android Pie is Android 9.0, formerly the artist known as Android P. It gets a name now, and it's available on Google's own Pixel phones, no surprise there, and on the Essential phone. I've been running actually the alpha builds, the pre-release builds of Android P also on this, but this is the easy one to actually get the update for. No constantly checking for the update, that sort of thing, or having to sideload it for your own rush. It was available right away just from the, I got a little notification in fact, from the update setting on the system went ahead and updated it and we're going to look at it now. So this is the Essential phone, which was one of the first no bezel phones with a notch, or more like a pimple in the case of this one. We're going to see more phone, Android phones with notches, folks, including the Pixel 3s from what we've seen so far. One of the changes for Pi is actually to move things and kind of balance the left and right stuff that's up top here so it can surround a notch. So the time has moved to the left side. That's not really a big deal though, is it? So this is all about gestures. Notice that the on-screen home buttons that we're used to seeing, the three navigation buttons for multitasking home and back, they're gone. But you can bring them back. We'll talk about that. But with Android P or Pi is really all about the new gestures and they're done really well. In fact, I like them better than the way the iPhone 10 handles them. First off, you go and you do kind of a long swipe and there's your app drawer. That's not a big surprise. You want to go home, you tap that button right there. If you do a kind of halfway, just like that, no pressing and holding, no hard force thing like you have to do with the iPhone. Here is all the stuff that's running. Very cool. Makes it very easy if you want to just pop, say you're, you're streaming something and you want to switch your network connection. You can just do that. Go into network settings and then come right back very easily. You can also copy and paste between apps really smoothly and easily this way. So I think that this is just very nicely done, this carousel. And you can also use this down here to scrub if you want instead of doing it on the phone screen. I find it fine on the phone screen. Again, we do have a back button here still, which is interesting. Now, I have disabled automatic rotation because most of the time I find I'm moving the phone around, it rotates when I don't want it to. So, what if I wanted to view this web page or whatever the content was in landscape mode? There's nothing to see here, is there? But once you turn the phone sideways, even though I have it disabled, you notice that? See this pops up right here? And I can actually temporarily override it and shift it to landscape mode, which is a nicely done way of handling that. If you want to get to the Google now, the Google Assistant homepage, you just press and hold like you would just with, like with the old home screen right there. So that's simple enough to do as well. So what if you just don't like that at all and you want to go back to the old way of doing things? You go to settings right here and it's kind of tucked away where you might not guess. It's under system and then it's under advanced gestures right there. So you can see it says swipe up on home button turned on. If you turn that off, it'll go back to using your old fashioned navigation buttons at the bottom. And there they are. See how they've appeared down there? So just in case you like things the old way better, you can still do it. Notifications per se haven't changed too much. The little quick access stuff has been revised a bit. There's a little bit more space around things, probably make it easier when you're walking around and not really feeling very precise about things. And that's, that's what it is. The auto brightness here is trying to use a little bit more AI. So you can set, relatively speaking, when auto brightness is on, where you want the brightness to be. And it's going to try to remember that relative to a given lighting situation so it can match that again and even based on time of day. Also now in the app tree, you've got quick actions, sort of like Apple's Force Touch, only you don't need a special display sensor to do it, and it's handled pretty well. So if, say, I've got Prime Video here, if I press and hold on it, I've got quick access to downloads, watch lists, library search. A lot of apps are supporting this pretty nicely. Weather bug, not too much going on there, app info and widgets. So that's another nice thing. Maps from work versus home navigation, you get the idea there. So that's another nice little time-saving kind of feature. The volume buttons have gotten more useful, so if you press in that quick access to the mute button if you want to do that, no more having to hit and hit and hit on the thing to make that happen. And if you tap on the settings over here, you can control each of these different volumes granularly, which is nice. And now we have call volume added in along with your ring volume, your alarms, and your media sounds too. So what didn't make it in? Digital well-being. That was a big feature that Google touted, but they've removed it and it's going to appear in a fall update instead. So digital well-being is the one that helps you with your smartphone addiction and lets you set timers and alerts you if you've been spending all too much time on Twitter, Facebook, whatever it is, YouTube, you get the idea. 
So there it is, running very stable and very smooth on the Essential phone. And again, this phone's a very pretty phone. It's a real, shall we say, sleeper now that the prices have come down. I have to say I enjoy the phone a lot. And it's nice that it's one of the first to get it. So the update should be coming first to other phones that are running Android's Project Treble, and they had the developer preview available on the phones. For bigger manufacturers, as always, it's going to take longer than phones from Samsung and that sort of thing. But there you go. This is what's available now, and this is what you're going to see on the Pixel 3, no doubt, coming soon. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and that's Android Pie.